All right, I've decided to lay out a board for my little uh, switch capacitor filter or programmable capacitor filter, whatever you want to call it. I, um, so I've chosen a, um, let's see here, the AT Tiny 814 is our, is our controller chip. There'll be two buttons, they'll be up and down, and uh, there'll be a, oops, sorry. There'll be a programming header right here. Uh, that programming header will allow me to program the part in situ um, while it's in the circuit. And uh, there'll be an OLED display that'll be a uh, serial uh, I squared C. And then there'll be also a different, like a spy serial for the capacitors. So here is the uh, four chips that will be four different programmable capacitors and they are serial in and serial clock and then an enable so each one of these needs to be enabled and then you can write to it they can share the other two pins but you need to be able to um, enable them separately so they'll be enabled with uh, uh, PA four through seven and then the serial clock and serial clock will be one and two Okay, so then there'll be the actual filter up here. Can I get it all on screen here? Let's see here, let's go back out. Where's the, uh, let's see here, zoom to objects. Let's see, zoom to selection here. Let's grab this, there we go. So um, this is the filter, a bunch of L's and C's, and these are all the numbers out of the article that I was given, or that I read. Um, so yeah, uh, now one of the big problems is going to be the footprint for this chip. All right. So let me show you what the PC board looked like after it's done. So here is the board and, um, these a little chips here are teeny, teeny, tiny, two millimeters by two millimeters, 12 pins. So a uh, half a millimeter spacing between, uh, between the pads. Yeah, that's going to be, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. These are 0603s. Um, and I've laid it out such that there is a 50 ohm impedance through the system, whether it matters or not. I just did it for fun. And uh, then everything else hangs off of that. So at each node, there is a inductor and a uh, starting capacitor. And then you get to add to that capacitor with the uh, programmable capacitor. So that's the way that works. SMA in, SMA out. Uh, here's the programmer pins. So I can use a little serial programmer and just plug it on here, make things easy, make my life easy. Um, the microprocessor is here and I've put it, uh, underneath the OLED display. So save some PC board since the OLED display sits up off the board. Anyway, that's a good way you can hide components underneath your other parts. All right. So yeah, you think this thing will work? <laughs> you think I'll be able to solder it? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of tricky. So it is a copper pour, um, crown plane. And if we remove the front here, you can see we've got uh, all of the RF side is all pretty much solid copper up here. All right. And then uh, there's a few other things that will be ground over on this side, but they don't, they don't really matter much. But we'll have a nice solid ground plane underneath the um, strip line construction. Yeah. How is that? Uh, Yikes, huh? Let's see what it looks like under a 3D viewer. I don't think I have all the components in there. Yeah, so it looks something like a something like a so. Um, yeah. All right, and again, here are these tiny, tiny little parts. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to do this. So the way I've laid it out, you can see here, uh, there is 
a bunch of ground pins on this package and they all kind of star into this main big pad and then there's a via down to ground so everything gets sent down to ground with that one via hole um, all right i'll send these off to pcb way and see if, see what happens <laughs>